the arrows. All right, thank you. Perfect. So, good morning. I have only four minutes to introduce everything, including maybe myself. So, my name is Akbar Amini, GIS officer working in United Nations mission in South Sudan. We are a peacekeeping uh, organization. And this is the first time that we are using a story map or geo story in peacekeeping to showcase our achievements using the open source technology. So I'm not going to read all the unmiss mandates according to the uh, Security Council resolutions, but mainly our mandate is to protect civilian, creating condition of delivery of humanitarian assistance, supporting the implementation of the uh, agreements, monitoring investigation, etc. So far, the gateway to public was mostly using like social media, YouTube, Facebook, but scattered here and there. But with these uh, uh, new solutions, we are able to bring everything in one platform, like the Geo Solution provided to us. I will tell you this, the story, how we uh, went through the official bids and procurement process to, to select the uh, service provider. So in UN, we have different several strategies for uh, data strategy from the Secretary General. We have uh, some other uh, initiatives regarding misinformation, disinformation, how sometimes UN troops, they become a target by armed actors. Of course, we are uh, having the UN Open GIS and we have several other activities which together with on this mandate, which I showed you in the previous slide, is dictating us how to use GeoStory for communication and public information. So this use case, I'm not going to, to technical things, but to just tell you we, how we use this one and we, in future we will try to engage more with the uh, private companies or uh, community in open source society to make a kind of contract and offer them kind of uh, projects. So, it's, of course, it's very much necessary for the companies to be registered in UN procurement system. Otherwise, like this project, they should be informed, but if they are not registered, they cannot attend any bid. So, this is the general view. Of course, uh, this is based on GeoNode. All of you know already how it works. The, the difference is we hosting uh, the, the solution in UN uh, Microsoft Azure Cloud. And uh, finally, we are trying to, we, we tried and successfully tested using uh, WMS service of our UN Maps, which is hosted in our global support center in, uh, in Italy, in Brindisi. And of course, uh, for this reason, we selected the vendor or service provider to so give us the solution and entire thing. So our role mainly was to set up all these things together and uh, okay, so we have different type of clients. This is how it looked like, one of the uh, stories. This was for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, I can take it. It's one minute I have, okay. <laughs> so this is one of the stories. It should go through all uh, Clearance from public information, from cartographic unit, from cybersecurity, etc. And then finally, it will be uh, publicly available. Right now, it's access accessible only through uh, through the uh, UN intranet. So this is one story. Another story is about cleared mine hazard area in 2021. And of course, it has dashboard. And I think you saw it in the other. But the use case itself, for us to bring this data all together and make it available to public. Thank you. Thank you.